Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising. Monday Tarot reading for August 2018 and uh, for this month I have chosen a, a 7 card spread. Um, as well if you are finding it helpful and you want to know a little bit more about the months and specifically your career and relationship you can do so by purchasing the extended tarot reading that focuses entirely upon career and relationship for just as little as one dollar from our website which is going to be written down below in this video uh, in the description of this video excuse me and now with that set aside <clears throat> Uh, the first card for you, Cancers, is going to represent the carry-on circumstances. Uh, this is going to be at the uh, Ten of, uh, of Wands. And then the next card represents the topic of your month. We have the Strength card. Third card shows up the intentions that you should have, or rather what you can go for which is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, then going to the best possible approach toward the topic of the month, here we have the Six of Swords, then uh, we do uh, have the attitude of the people around you, people which are surrounding you, this is going to be the Three of Swords, moving forward is going to be the challenges to be overcome, we have the chariot card and the last one represents the final outcome here with the two of cups interesting very interesting so this month is going to be a rather busy month for you guys now the carry on circumstances here this is the ten of swords uh, the ten of wands excuse me why i always say the ten of swords ten of wands so ten of wands is a sign that you will uh, continue on working upon something or having a certain agenda now this card is usually related to burdens right but also could be related to a big uh, to extreme busyness due to the uh, necessity of the situation that you cannot postpone nor you can uh, withdraw from it all right so it's kind of like uh, is a situation where you're going to find yourself stuck with not up but stuck with all right to move on um, to to move on with it and bring it to its very end but in the same time that could be one of those kind of like uh, an awesome opportunities although it does require a lot of dedication ten of wands as a carry on circumstances also may um, reflect to uh, the um, how can I say it to the obligation to please certain people or certain uh, structures in your life and uh, if you are, for example, workaholic, then uh, you have started, uh, the, this card could represent that you have started something as an, an activity, an enterprise in your career to please your boss and that thing will move on and continue in this particular month, although you have hoped that it's going to be over by now. Well, it's not going to be for what it seems is going to continue on into uh August as well and then we do have the topic here with the strength card which represents the eager and the readiness for you to jump into battle and to face whatever predicaments and obstacles you may um, encounter during the month very positive card as a matter of fact it does speak as well that uh, somehow you will have that very strong presence during this uh, particular month and uh, people will in generally trust you Alright, because your presence will uh, immediately uh, leave with, um, well, I'm trying to find the right words here. Mm. It's going to leave the, si the situation of an impression that you don't need to, um, to explain yourself about your actions and about your decisions, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, the strength card also promises you that the, the, the month is going to be rather... Um, calm in a sense of attacks and in a sense of hostility from other people although we do have the attitude here with the three of swords that speaks that the people will not be very happy of your activities for one or another reason either from a jealousy or either because they don't see you succeeding there all right so you have to be very careful when you approach your co-workers um your friends uh, 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 your partner into relationship etc etc uh, because uh, you should not push them because uh, 
if you push these people then you may become a victim of a, of a mental cruelty and this could even escalate further by these people causing additional predicaments to those that you do already have at this very moment and it will be tough to overcome in the sense that these people still mean something for you and you cannot just be ruthless with them so it is a, a very delicate situation you're gonna have and a very well that could be a, a co-workers of yours being very displeased that you do things of your responsibilities just so you please your supervisor or your boss also you don't feel ne uh, the necessity to explain yourself why to those people you're just doing it, doing it for your own benefits and that that is a sure way how you can lose friendships all right so you have to be very delicate when it comes to uh, confrontation verbal confrontation with people due august then we do have the third card which is um, the intentions that you can uh, that you should have during the month Ten of Pentacles points that it will be very beneficial if you cash in on a certain activities right now uh, due August. So uh, that card immediately tells us that you should not leave your job um, unfinished, all right, and uh, pass it for September, for example. But with any um, capabilities and with any strength that you do have you should aim to finalize your projects you should aim to uh, kind of like cash in on them in a sense of if you are doing private jobs you know or if you are leading a, a, a project a job that you have been promised to be paid additionally then they have to take number one priority that car points that um, also you should try to make peace with the people that recently became enemies of yours and on top of that uh, this car represents personal independence so the time has come to finalize whatever you have started here right this month is the month this this is it guys you you have to put an end in it uh, an end to it and that end should be successful one all right um failure should not be an option uh, for for your activity either career wise or either relationship wise because you may have started something into your relationship as well some process there and this process is prolonged now for a quite a, a long time and August has to be the month where everything ends and you finally uh, deliberate yourself from that uh, from that responsibility from that duty or a burden because some people may find it as a burden as well then we go to the best possible approach to the situation to the strength card you know how uh, you can um, manage this um, uh, your presence and these interactions with other people which are going to try to attack you by being polite and by trying to uh, place the uh, the benefits and the very reason why forces should be combined rather than to stand against each other that is very important now this month the best possible approach towards your situation so you can avoid conflicts and so you can also attract followers behind your goal here is to be the peacemaker all right you should not be the bully but the one who always aims for a peace. Also, this card points that you will have to make some brave decisions here and you have to make some brave steps, often uh, related to unknown direction in the sense that you know it's, they have to be a surprising in attempt to improve your circumstances and the circumstances will be improved as, as long as you are not afraid, you know, to take those kind of necessary risks to... Um, exert change into the circumstances you are involved yourself in and uh, the six of swords is related to a transition you know uh, so as soon as you uh, force that transition you may find yourself as well scared not knowing how these things are going to work out and what you need to know that is that in reality there is nothing to be afraid of because that transformation should have taken place and it will take place regardless you want it or you're not it is just consciously you are kind of like forcing it earlier and better early than uh, than late <clears throat> Afterwards, we go to the obstacles to be overcome here, the chariot card. So the chariot card is about, in your case, a preparation, all right? And in your case, it is about determination and the uh, hope for success. So you may, uh, this card points that you may lose um, 
you know, hope and drive to succeed in this month. The, the, the cause for that could be numerous. For example, you may find yourself tired of it, you may find yourself despondent of it, etc, etc. Whatever the cause is, guys, the Chariot card stands for uh, enormous effort or uh, close to heroic effort. So you need to know that with just uh, giving it a silent treatment or just uh, doing only the minimum out of uh, whatever it is asked from you, it's not going to cut it out. That card points that you really, really have to toil behind whatever you have started here. It all follows from the month of July. So think about what you have done in July, what you have started, not what you have done, but what you have started, which is tiding you to a certain situation. And there it is exactly where you need to focus your attention, focus any means that you do possess right now so you can finalize it and just, just get it done, all right? And don't have to think about it anymore. And you will see that also many... Um, arguments with uh, a people there to your heart will drop off as soon as you kind of finish the job. Chariot card represents that you should, um, um, how can I place it, also it's a sign that um, you can't basically escape from it, I mean it, it has to be done guys. So you're finding yourself into, uh, let's say, chained to a situation, an activity that uh, simply is going to carry you on and it's going to drag you until it's finished and you cannot escape it. So that's why you have to focus all your means and all your capabilities to finalize it and to be done with it. And at the end, uh, we do have the Two of Cups as a final outcome here. And uh, this card is kind of a, circumst a circumstantial sign or a, a collateral sign that you succeeded it, all right? Because um, succeeded into your goal here to finalize whatever difficulty you have started, whatever um, burden you brought upon yourself. Because the Two of Cups represent that probably at the end of the month you will uh, find yourself into a very calming environment. An environment where people will accolade you, an environment where people will support you and you will be in a good terms with everybody around yourself, into your relationship, into your career and uh, family as well. Uh, this card represents the um, how can I place it? The harmonious, uh, the, the the harmonious relationship you will have with everybody, everybody without any exclusion um, around yourself and uh, with it. You know, many things can become possible. As a matter of fact, if you're finding yourself lonely, the Two of Cups could be exactly the sign that someone is gonna step out for you um, or from the. Um, from the auditory and is going to, uh, as stepping out, is going to present themselves as a potential suitor, but not before you, uh, for example, uh, kind of like um, clo uh, reach a closure into your previous relationship, because that could be as well the case where you uh, have broken up with uh, your partner into your relationship, but still you are trying to reconcile, you know, that could also uh, be uh, represented with these cards here as the burden you are trying to fulfill in which you are trying constantly to please your ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend so they can come back to you and this has to be put an end to, all right, so it's all about that, putting an end to an activity that comes as a burden to yourself in month of August 2018. So with that being said, Cancer, this was your monthly tarot reading for August 2018. And if you want to know more and specifically career and relationship, you can purchase the extended tarot reading for just as little as $1 from my website written down below uh, in the description of this video as well there uh, in my website. I mean, uh, you can find my services in case you're interested in a private reading with me and with that being said I wish you best of luck there Rat signing out now see you next time bye